Thomas, come on, what was going on there? I was messing up, bro. I was messing up. No, and seriously, it was not messing a lot up. Of, it was some wins and some losses, more wins and losses. It's like a basketball game. Well, Spot's got all the notes. <laughs> and he's, gonna, he's got all written down. He's going to take... How, hey. did, how did you... Guys, come on. How did that come up, come about? This is long past due. I've been right. knowing him for over probably 20 years. Yeah. Mad long. long. I've been knowing Aaron for a long time, too. A lot of us have been knowing each other. Um, I met him when he was playing with God's Property. And they were stomping all over the world. And um, <laughs> he, was, he was crazy because he was such a good, like, virtuoso piano player. And then he hopped on the drums and he'd be like, what the hell? And then, yeah. so I've known him for mad long. And we, you know, when I come to town, he lets me get on his drums and, and lets me sit in some time. So we've been friends for a long time. Yeah. And Aaron, I've known him for a long time also. Um, we used to go to, like, church conventions. Dude, and he man. would come and... Um, we would set up the drums before it was called like battling and shedding like it is now. We would set up the drums and just go ham for hours because we're at a church convention. It was nothing to do. So yeah, we would- was like eight, like giving <laughs> us clinics. <laughs> so, Did so. you pass on some advice to him? I mean, we couldn't tell no, him. No, I mean, like he was, yeah. he was the teacher then. It was like he was eight years old. And- Man, everybody's like, we all giving each other advice, you know, sometimes indirectly. You know, yeah. I look at Aaron, I, I look I look at the stuff Aaron posts and I learn a lot from that. Just like Aaron is the sweetest, one of the nicest people I ever met. Mm. He's way, way nicer than I could ever be. I would never be that nice. <laughs> and, you know, I strive to one day be that nice, you know? <laughs> so, you know, with that, I learned that from him. And um, Spud, Spud is just... He's not nice. Spud, Spud, <laughs> Spud is just crazy because there's nothing he can't do. You yes. know what I mean? Yep. He's yeah, like on true. tour with yep. the band writing songs for all these people. Yep. So, How I did just, the arrangement come about, Spud? Um, well, that's the cool thing about being an MD for this thing because you get to channel each drummer and try to come up with something that you think that, that fits them. And uh, so I, I, I got on the phone with him. Like I did most of the guys, but this one, I knew... It was gonna be crazy because I was like, I was like, I was like, what you want to do? He was like, oh, I just want to rock out with some odd meter, shit. And so I was like, uh, okay, I got you. And uh, it took me a long time from that conversation. To re- he hit me up like, like what two weeks ago, and he what was song? like, he was like, yo, where the song at? I was like, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I mean, like, so you know, I got a bunch of musician friends too. So there's a. I had this guy, um, this guy named Mark Latiri, who uh, he we always do we work together a whole lot, and he always has these riffs that you know I sample from time to time. He has these riffs. I man, send me something, send me a riff, send me something, and uh, and he you know he sent me an idea, and I just took it and just flipped it and made it Did something the that belong. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, but honestly, that's something that he does all the time. What, what I, I felt like. What I it was like half of what he did with you know what I've seen him do with Mars Mars Volta and all those you know all the stuff he's been doing with his own bands. So I mean I just I knew I knew it was gonna be crazy, but I didn't I just I didn't know what to expect. It was like get on it and let's go. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this you know I, I mean this is what this is about challenges and having fun and, yeah. and making the, these moments you know a moment you know. Well, I mean, you you did my it certainly was a moment. I mean, I think this was, this thing is cool because like having so many different people getting to like socialize and hang out and mix the genres and mix the vibes, it's just, this was a good experience. So I'm really happy to be here. I want to thank Zildjian and tell them that I love you and I want to kiss you when I get home. Well, listen, thank you very much. Uh, well done. Um, and uh, I don't, I'm not looking forward to the guy that's got to transcribe that part. That, that's going to be tough. Aaron, that's your job. That's okay, your job. On. No way. <laughs> come on, big round of applause. All right, y'all, thank you. Come on. <laughs>